everyone, welcome to day 10 of the Vinochia challenge. So I am making something called cabbage hemp salad. Maybe the recipe, this will be easy. There's the recipe and the directions. It is super straightforward. Um, it is from popsugar.com of all the random places for that to something to sound good from. Anyway, actually it's from Chris Carr's Crazy Sexy Kitchen, which is, that doesn't surprise me in the slightest. She's got lots of really cool recipes. So. Basically, I don't have 100% of this recipe um, in far terms of what I'm going to put in it, just because I'm not, I'm not going to add hemp oil and I'm not going to add the cilantro, but I've got everything else, so that's pretty close. So, I have a bag of salad mix. This is one of the ones that they sell at Costco, and it comes with um, extra stuff that we don't use, but I just throw that part out and I use the, the salad mix. And typically, I don't chop this up too much smaller, um, but this time I did because I wanted it to be more of a chopped salad. So, come on down to the counter and you can see what it is that's in here. So I chopped up, this is approximately a cup and a half of that and I chopped it up pretty fine. So it's actually um, probably more than a cup and a half because I measured it after I chopped it. But so there's a cup and a half of that and then you're supposed to have one quarter cup of red and yellow peppers diced. So I just went ahead and did an orange one instead. <laughs> so, you know, combine the two colors and get an orange one. So that works. Um, you're supposed to have one and a half avocados for a full recipe, which means about three quarters of an avocado. I just um, diced up the other half of this avocado is right there. Um, diced it up pretty small. And then I put, let's see, how much did I put? Three quarters of a tablespoon of lime juice. I've already sprinkled that over the top of this. And then the little seeds, I didn't put all of them on there. You're supposed to put more than this. You're supposed to have, for half of the recipe, you're supposed to have two tablespoons of hemp seeds. And this is about three quarters of a tablespoon, but I thought if I put all of it on there that it would then like just disappear and you guys wouldn't be able to see the salad anymore. So anyway, there's another tablespoon. And I don't really know if I need a whole bunch more, but I guess we'll finish it off, put what's in there. So you're supposed to massage this to make it all, uh, yeah, nice and gooey. So I thought I would do that. Um, I'm not 100% sold on. I know this is a good way to get um, your kale to be nice and soft and wonderful and everything, but it's kind of gross and gooey, to be honest with you. However, um, I'm gonna do it, because that's what the recipe says. So you're supposed to massage this in really, really well. Um, which, okay, this isn't quite as gross as I thought it would be. Anyways, so I'm gonna do this and plate it up and then come back and show you guys what this tastes like after I obviously wash my hand off. So, I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right, guys, so here is my salad. It's very pretty, it smells very lemony. I licked my finger off and it was very lemony, so I maybe needed a little bit less lemon, but um, I used the amount that the recipe called for because I made half a recipe, I used half the amount of lime juice, but anyways, did I say lemon juice? Anyway, lime juice. It was supposed to be lime juice. So I'm gonna try this now. Hmm. That's very good. Mm. <laughs> it's chewy. Um, it's very, uh, very light and springy. Um, if you like cilantro, I can see how that would really add to the flavor of this. I don't care for it, obviously. I will not be putting it in there, but um, yeah. I would totally recommend making this. This was very good, very easy. I mean, chop a few ingredients and massage some avocado and lemon juice into your salad. Doesn't need the oil for sure. Um, yeah, that's very good, especially with the hemp seeds. I really like that flavor in there. Okay, so I'm going to take, um, I might actually just eat this. I'm kind of hungry, so I'm going to eat this. Um, oh, by the way, so the uh, raw unfiltered uh, apple cider, my husband and I tried it last night. Holy cow, that stuff's disgusting. Like. Regular apple cider vinegar is one thing, that stuff is nasty. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll figure out how to get it in me. Um, I'm probably not going to expand it into a drink because it's, I can't imagine drinking a whole entire drink that tasted like that, but maybe I'll give it a try. Um, but for now, I'm going to finish, I had half of this left in the refrigerator. I'm going to finish that and call that my shot of apple cider vinegar for this morning, it's dose. That's good enough. So, anyway guys, um, I'm gonna go and get ready for work and I will talk to you again in the morning. Hey everybody, so I am home. Um, so last night I had vinegar before I left for work. I had, well I had my grape vinegar drink, that's not maybe quite the same thing, but I did have that. I had chia seeds in with, so I had my salad, that was super, super good. I had chia seeds in with some rice and half of a veggie burger. Um, like I ate my salad right when I first got to work at like eight o'clock and then I ate again at about one thirty something like that. Anyways, um, so I do have enough room. I'm going to eat my oatmeal. Um, I haven't got it in the microwave yet, but I'm, I've got plans to have that. And I wanted to make something that I've wanted, I've had in my recipe book for a long time. 
um, and I've never made it. It's from glutenfreevegan.pantry.com and it's called Strawberry Chia Seed Jam. Super easy Sunday. I don't know what that's supposed to be. But anyways, it only has a few ingredients right there. And then the instructions aren't super complex either. So basically it says two cups of strawberries, de-stemmed and chopped in half. Normally when it's like cold out like it is right now, I wouldn't think to make strawberries and anything but with a strawberry because I mean, nee, you know, strawberries aren't gonna be super in season. But when we were at the Asian grocery store the other day, they had strawberries that were like super red, um, almost past their prime, not quite, but almost. And I was like, well, shoot, that might make a really good strawberry jam. I've been wanting to make this forever and it uses chia seeds. So this would be a great opportunity to do that. So anyway, so you need two cups of strawberries, de-stemmed and they said you're supposed to chop them in half. I'm not too worried about that. I'll, I'll get that taken care of in the blender. Um, and then two tablespoons of chia seeds, which I have not put in there yet. So two tablespoons of chia seeds. I do have two cups of strawberries in there. And the thing that I'm questioning, it says one quarter cup maple syrup optional. Um, so I did try one of the strawberries and it was relatively sweet. And I think I'm just gonna opt not to put any sweetener in it at all um, and go from there. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm gonna do. So anyway, maybe I'll blend it up and see if it's what it tastes like when I, um, just before I start the whole cooking process um, and see how that goes. So you don't, optional yes or no, and then water as needed. So you're supposed to blend this, you're adding one tablespoon of water at a time until you get it blended. Um, to the consistency that you want it says so it's supposed to be a jam so to the consistency you want but you are going to cook it on the stove for a few minutes so it's going to be um it's going to thicken i guess um anyways i'm going to put a quarter of a cup of water in because you're supposed to have a quarter of a cup of maple syrup potentially so that will help also get it to start blending up and stuff so i'm going to go do that part and then basically what you do after that is after you've cooked after you've blended it you pour it into a small saucepan and heat over medium heat until it begins to bubble Reduce heat to low, simmer for five to seven minutes until the jam starts to thicken. Remove from heat and immediately pour into a mason jar. I would assume any glass container would be fine. Um, and allow it to cool completely and then store in the fridge for up to one week. So I get that in order to have a tablespoon of chia seeds, I would need to eat like half of this, which wouldn't be that big of a deal because um, it's like a cup of strawberries, no big deal. But you're supposed to eat it on like toast or something, so I don't, I don't know. That would be kind of weird to eat like half of a mason jar of strawberry jam at one time. So anyways, we'll see about that. Um, I'm going to blend this, get it on the stove, get it bubbling, and then um, I will come back to talk to you about it. I'm not sure if I'm going to taste it today or not. I don't really want to put it on my oatmeal. I might on another day, but I don't really feel like that today. I kind of just want dates on oatmeal today. That sounds pretty good to me, but... Anyway, let me go get it cooked up and I will be back with you guys so we can taste it and see if this is like an awesome recipe that you guys should make. Okay guys, by the way, um, I'm going to use this tonight, but I had gotten this in um, the mail a couple days ago and I haven't used it yet. I'm super excited about it. So I got my um, vanilla. That's the one that I decided to buy. Like I said, there were a lot to pick from. This one is certified organic and it's certified by, by EcoCert and it's 100% vanilla. There's no other junk in here. Anyway, it comes in like this little plasticky baggie inside that container. And this smells so divine. <laughs> like I opened the, it came in a bubble wrap thing and I opened it and I was like, oh, that's cool. And so I took the lid off and obviously there's, you know, there's a plastic bag in there and just this waft of vanilla came out and I was like, oh my gosh, that smells so good. But I have no idea how much to use for flavoring things. However, it says if you're making a really awesome cake, basically, that for every cup of flour that you use, cake flour, you would use one quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla powder. So that's not very much, which is good because this stuff is, like I said, crazy expensive. I don't remember, maybe not crazy expensive, but it was over $20. I think it was like $25. It's kind of a lot of money. I mean, it kind of seems like it to me. But anyways, um, I'm going to put a quarter of a teaspoon in my strawberry jam. I am, I just think strawberry and vanilla sounds wonderful. Just like strawberry and orange, I mean, excuse me, vanilla and orange and vanilla and banana and vanilla and strawberry, all of that stuff just sounds wonderful to me. So vanilla sounds terrific. So I'm gonna go sprinkle a quarter of a teaspoon in there. Um, I tasted it. It's not super, super sweet, but it's not also, um, it's not bitter. Like sometimes fruit is, when it's not quite ripe, it's a little bit bitter, it's not that at all. So I'm gonna put the vanilla in there, let it do its cooking thing. I just wanted to share this with you that this is the one that I picked out. And I'm very excited to make a uh, chia seed pudding tonight with this. Like, very excited. 
Alrighty, I'll see you guys in a minute. Alrighty, guys. So this is a really pretty shade of mauve. I was kind of expecting it to be a little bit redder than this. Um, but I guess with the chia seeds that it made it darker. Just like the salsa that I had mixed the chia seeds into made like this sludgy brown color. Um, this would definitely have the consistency of what my uh, co-worker says is slime. That's what she calls chia seed stuff, slime. Um, it's really hot, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it very much when it's this warm, but it smells wonderful. It smells like um, strawberries and vanilla. <laughs> it smells terrific. Imagine this will be much better cold though. Anyway. It's good. I'm, it might, depending on the, the sweetness of your strawberry and how sweet you actually want your jelly, I can see you maybe wanting to add a little bit of sweetener to this. I don't think that it needs it for me personally. Um, I like just the strawberry flavor that's here. Um, and I think I'm really gonna like it once it's cold. So I'll reserve judgment for now and I'll just say that it's good. Um, but maybe it'll be even better once it's cold. Um, yeah. So it's apple cider vinegar time. So I do know that I sometimes I don't remember to to like video that I'm doing the vinegar. I am doing it. I have been very good about it. Um, but yeah, this stuff smells horrible. But there's my straw. I'm not gonna dilute it. Um, I, I've thought long and hard about this. I am not going to dilute it. I am going to have a big drink of water right afterwards, and I'm I'm just not gonna dilute it because I don't want to have to deal with that much flavor. I looked at several websites and I looked up some recipes um, and a lot of them that have apple cider vinegar in them have either honey or ginger. And I would suppose I could still use maple syrup instead of honey and that would be okay. Um, I'm not a huge fan of ginger. And I hate when I say that I don't like stuff because I feel really super picky, but I really just don't like ginger that much. It's okay, but it's definitely not a flavor that I prefer. Yeah, I'm kind of picky. I, I hate, I, I try not to be, I really do. I try not to be picky, but I kind of am. Anyways. I'm gonna drink this very quickly and then have some water. And I bet you this is gonna be way worse because I just had that strawberry. Yeah. <coughs> oh, that's really strong. Anyways, so yes, I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm gonna be good and I'm gonna take it, but I don't know if I can handle the straw either. I kinda just need to toss it back but yeah that was exciting I'm going to go like reward myself by putting some dates and some oatmeal and enjoy that because that will be super exciting after that because that was gross there's a tiny little bit left in the bottom yeah if apple cider vinegar could be worse this stuff is it yep If you guys have any ideas on how to make this more palatable, please let me know. Maybe I should just mix a tablespoon of maple syrup in with it. Maybe that would make it better. Yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you had a fabulous day and I will see you again tomorrow.